Hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone's having a great Friday and it's not just a regular Friday. It is a full moon Friday and we all know what that means. A lot of us witches are going to be having some full moon fun later. Especially me. I got, I got, I got some plans. Okay. And a couple of y'all know what I mean. And also welcome to the Bayou Bruja. Today, we're going to be talking about travel altars. And I have a lot of stuff to show everybody. And I'm not saying everything I show you to put in an altar. And I have a bunch of stuff to show you. And the reason I did that was to give you an idea of all the different things you can put in an altar. You can have a big box, which I have. That's what I have is a big box. Because I really don't travel much. The only time I go anywhere and I bring my altar with me is if I'm moving or I'm going to stay by my in-laws for the weekend and I leave it in the truck. Uh, or, you know, like if I'm leaving and going somewhere, if I'm going to a park or something, I have a little tiny one I bring with me. I even, you know, you bring little zippy bags, you bring you a little spoon. You can even put one inside of a purse, inside of like a drawstring bag. That's really good also because you can just carry your stuff around with you. Or if you go on a vacation or something, you want to bring it with you, also do that. You can put it in a medium box, you can put it in a small box, shoe box, you can put it in whatever you want to put it in. If you want to put it inside of a shoe and carry it around, that's your choice. That's what you do. It's your decision. Like with everything in this craft, it's up to you. It's your choice what you're going to have in it. It's your choice what you're going to do with it. It's your choice what it's there for. It's your manifestations. It's your intentions. It's all about you. And that's what we're going to learn today. And like I said, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. And I always hear whenever I do something about, oh my gosh, you have so much stuff. Well, I've been doing this, I think more long, like longer than I can remember. Oh, I've been collecting this stuff for a long, long time, like a very long time. So I have a lot, but no, I'm not bragging. I swear I'm not bragging. I'm just saying before I start getting, wow, you've got so much from certain, you know, you know how people, y'all know how people get, y'all know exactly how folks get. Well, anyway. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you could possibly put in one. The things you can put in there, the uh, possibilities are absolutely endless. And we can go from candles, we can do incense, sand, water, moon water, rain water, storm water, sun water, you know, everything. Just be careful how you pack it up also because stuff can leak. Be mindful of that also. And also, if you are traveling and you plan on like flying or something, be very aware. Some of the things that you do put in your travel altars to travel in a car, to travel around in the States, because you're flying out of country, I don't technically think it's a good idea to have a little baggie on you or a little box on you that has bones, animal hair, and things like that snake skin and you'll see what I have <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff a bunch of weird stuff that people call weird my husband says it's kind of strange that I always have dead stuff on me I'm a witch what do you expect I gotta have my, my I've gotta have the bones of my ancestors with me at all times my spirit guides everything you know but that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna have a blast doing it and I hope everyone enjoys this I hope everyone enjoys this little clip also I got coming up that I made it's just a couple little shops on Etsy and if you ever want me to put your shops into one of my videos just ask me and I could do it for you we can just put it in a little uh, my one of my little reels I made and remember I'm gonna say this a lot like subscribe and ring the bell ring the bell right now don't forget i'm just gonna sit here for a second and just do this with my finger make the sign of the pentacle and the pentagram 
Ring the bell. It matters. It matters, folks. It matters a lot. Here we go. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed that little reel I made. I put that in there just to show you a few places you can go on Etsy that have really good products and they make really, like they have the travel authors already put together for you and they're really good people because all their stuff is really high quality and they really take care of and they make sure it's all gonna get to you safe and you know, all the good stuff. But no, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I've just gotten things from those uh, small business owners and I love supporting the small business owner, especially the witchy ones. And they're, they're really good shops. That's why I did it like that. In places that you can get altars already put together for you. So, but maybe after this video, you'll wanna build one yourself. So here we go. I'm gonna show you the whole table at first and then well, first I'm going to light the incense and stuff because I haven't done it today. And, and I'm going to show you everything. Here we go. Okay, witches. We are back with what I'm going to show you. Like I said, I'm going to show you a bunch of different things that go on the altar. How do you like my backflow incense thing? It was doing really good until the AC kicked on. But it was really, really pretty, wasn't it? And I got that online somewhere. It has a triple moon in it. It's like literally my favorite. Like, I love it. And it's porcelain, too, so. Okay. I'm just going to show you everything up here. Like I said, it is a lot of stuff. But I want to show you the possibilities are basically endless. With everything that you have. Anything that you want to put in it, you can put in it. And that is a chicken claw and an alligator's foot because I am a voodoo priestess and that should explain that right there. <laughs> this, that, that goes into my altar. Like this is a part of, this is my way of me connecting with my ancestors and my spirit guides is through pieces of things that I use in voodoo. And that's alligator feet, chicken feet, you know, things like that. And I'm going to go to the boxes first. This one right here. This is my altar. It's empty right now. I just took all the stuff out of it. I probably should like do one after showing you how it's all packed in there. And I don't have all this stuff in my altar. It's just maybe a, <laughs> maybe a quarter of what you see on the table goes in that box. And I pack extras of some things because I use some things more than I use others. Does that make sense? And then you have your medium box back there. And also one right here that's a medium box also because it's you can put stuff up here you can put stuff in the drawer you can put stuff in a little door and we have these boxes and everybody knows what these boxes are you use them for tarot and oracle cards but you can also use them as a travel altar and there's several different types several different sizes and so on but you don't even have to just use the box like I said you can use a zippy bag, a zip tie bag, a sh like a pull string bag, a purse that you want to, you know, you retire and you just use like for when you go on outings in the woods and stuff and you go and collect your stuff you use for your rituals and things like that. Like when you go to get your flowers and your dirt and stuff. I've got stuff up here for that also. So, and okay. We did the boxes and stuff, so let's go over here. I explained to you why these are up here. Like, I always have these with me when I go somewhere, <laughs> unless I'm going out of, <clears throat> out of country. 
and or if you're just flying somewhere in the states don't try to bring something like this with you it's not going to get past security they're going to look at you and watch you the entire time you fly and you're going to be put on some type of weird list <laughs> i'm giving you warning i'm just saying okay okay we all know what this is right here this right here is um uh, my burning bowl i use for like if i have loose incense like okay here's some loose lavender and you can use loose lavender and i have a whole bucket down here of stuff i have sorry for the camera shaky but okay here let me put it over here this right here like i make sure that like i always keep something of something and i always order a big box of herbs and stuff i keep in little zippies just for my rituals like you can buy like i got these at a really good price from i can't think of the man the, the guy's shop well i will i will tell y'all i'll put it in the comments or something what it is if y'all ask me if y'all want to know i'll find it and i'll tell y'all okay i cannot remember it right now the name of the the person's shop but I have a little bit of everything in here and loose incense when you have loose incense you always have to have these charcoal discs right here because you put the loose incense on top of the charcoal disc and make sure whatever you put them in you can burn stuff in you don't want nothing to crack or break while you're doing your ritual <laughs> because some people might think oh that's a sign it's an omen well may may as well just be maybe an omen that you shouldn't have put that hot thing inside of that little thin glass piece a piece of glass i'm just saying but yeah okay let me put this down here and we're gonna go this way and this right here is my knife i always have a good knife on me keep it sharp always keep it in its sheath because you don't want it to stab holes in the bag that you're carrying or stab holes in any of your stuff you have it laying with or just you want to keep it safe and in, in general you want to keep it from cutting you or cutting anything else and i always have a broom also sometimes i have a, one of the smaller ones i just don't have one right now because i'm sending someone a box and i put it in there already so i'm using this one right here it's just one of those tiny little cinnamon brooms i do keep one like this in my box it just doesn't have decoration on it and i wanted to use this one because it's just cute and it's got the four elements on it that I made. So, yeah, we got the witch's broom. You got a knife. You got things that connect you to your ancestors. And, like, with all your loose herbs and stuff, like I said, you got the charcoal disc or a must. You don't want to carry this big old piece. You can get you tiny little zippy bags. Like, you'll see some of my stuff in. And just put one or two in there. And you're good with that. And have you uh, keep you a lighter with you. You know keep always keep a lighter in your travel altar that's a must and let's see as for incense i like to keep in my altar i don't like carrying around the big sticks and well the little tiny sticks sometimes they're a pain to light and if you're out in the wind or something you're not going to want something that's going to be a hassle like you're going to want something that you can light you know something something that you know is gonna burn well they sell incense matches you can get these on amazon just like google it and you can get a couple places you can get them from actually but they're really great to have for a travel altar this is this right here i don't i'll always have these on my travel altar i love them and they smell so good <laughs> and me being me yes i do like them sometimes just to smell them <laughs> that's just me so there's a lot of stuff up here whenever most of y'all that know me see it and you're going to be like, yep, she'll have that on her at all times, especially my, uh, I'm going to just show those next jars. Yes. Our jars always is a must have some jars, little metal containers or something on you. Like you never know what you're going to run across. You might find you some moss. You might find you some swamp water, graveyard dirt, um, Cemetery dirt, and yes, there's a difference between the two. Uh, anything, like leaves, just something you want that you want to put in and you don't want it to get messed up. Having these little tiny bottles on you is great. It's great to have. 
And they're also good for spell work. Like in a pinch, you're going somewhere and somebody ends up getting themselves put in a jar. Well, that's what these are for. <laughs> and me being the voodoo priestess that I am, I carry a doll with me. And you can get the small little simple one like this. And they sell these on Amazon also. They're just tiny little inexpensive dolls. Or you can even make you one. If you're out in the woods or something and you want to make you a doll real quick, just get you two twigs and some vine or something or a long piece of grass to wrap up around it and make you a quick little doll to do some stuff with. And I'll also keep on me my little pins for my dolls. Because, you know... They're just, they're really good to have for things. And, you know, they're good to, they come in handy for a bunch of things too. Like not just stabbing things for dolls and stuff. You can, you can do several things with these. And I have more than one. This is one of the ones I bring with me a lot. And it's also, I'll just bring that out. I got this off of Amazon. I cannot, not Amazon. I got this off of Etsy. I cannot remember where. I can't find the thing that tells me where I got it from but I know it came from Etsy and it came with the all right Frederick let's put you right here it's a little black coffin and it's got the little window on it so you can see whoever you're sticking in there and tell them what you need to tell them every day and he stays in there that's his little home this is Frederick's home and like I said if you're out and if you're like me, you carry things like this with you, like pens and rope and stuff like that. It just depends on what you want to put in your altar. What It depends on the person, actually. It depends on what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you planning on going to do that day? That's what you bring with you. It could be different every day you go out, every day you go to do something. You can just have you one for, you know, with your cards and some incense and a feather for doing some cleansing and doing a reading for a girlfriend or something. You know what I'm saying? Have you some, like, uh, resin, resin incense. I was about to forget the name of the stuff. Resin incense, stuff like that with you, just, you know, to have on your person all the time. But this is something I do keep with me all the time. And he has his little pins in here. I got the little rope in here. I just keep that, like, together. <laughs> If you knew me, you, there's going to be a lot of people laughing at this because they're going to know this is absolutely 100% of facts. I'll have this and I have jars and I have, I have dead things on me a lot. But, you know, it's just who I am. I'm a witch and I love it and I love every part about it. And, okay, we got that part. And also, like, you can have your, own, your little tea light candles with you. These are good to have because they burn really quickly. They do. They, they light up. They burn quick. And you can use the wax and the little cup it's in to dump on top. Like if you have a spell bottle or something. And I, I thought I put one up here. I guess not. But something similar to this. And if you want to dump the wax on it. Like if you're in a pinch. You can use the wax from a tea light to dump on top of a bottle like this to seal. And this is black salt. Let me get to that in a minute. So, we're going to get back to this. Like, some things I like to carry on me, it's gopher dust, crossroad dirts, and red brick dirt dust. And it comes from Madame Yaya's, and she has some really good stuff. They really do. And I've worked with this stuff, especially crossword, crossword, oh, raven. Crossroad dirts, it is something that is used a lot in voodoo. In Louisiana voodoo, that's what I do. I do Louisiana voodoo because there is a couple different types of voodoo. And there's African, there's Haitian, and there's Louisiana voodoo. And there is differences in them. Um, like gopher dust. Like you can use this stuff for so much stuff. Like you just look it up. Oh, that's going to be a whole nother video. We have so much to learn. I'm so excited. Okay. And we also have back here is we have hot foot powder. And that's used for a lot of different things also. Like, if you really want to burn somebody's behind or something, you know, make your point. You want to get your point, your point across. I'm so sorry I can't speak properly today. <laughs> I'm trying to fit all this in for y'all to make it, like, really interesting and cool so you don't just be, like, yawn and turn my video off. But, yeah, this is, like, 
getting your point across to someone, this is great to use. And we also have over here our like I don't all I don't bring all these with me. I bring one. I bring one deck with me, and this right here is usually the one I use. And if I don't have this one with me, I'll have this one with me. And these are two really good decks to have for your travel deck, for your travel altar. And this one right here, I just got. And this comes from my beautiful and wonderful friend, Jennifer. Jen, I love you for this because these are so cool and awesome. They're like, they're, they're really cool. Y'all, I, I, I highly recommend these. I highly recommend all three of these, actually. They're really good decks to have on hand just to bring with you. So, what do we have up next? I'm trying to just hit the basics first, and then I'll go into some of the more... I guess not. I'm just going to go this way. Okay, we're just going to tell you about everything. So, I have right here, because I do do a lot of voodoo work, I have a coffin now. And I had some more, but I cannot find my box that I have all of them in, because I was going to show you my graveyard dirt and my crossroad dirt that I have, and it comes from St. Louis Cemetery number one, and... I can't find it but this is a coffin nail I got and this coffin nail comes directly from one of my ancestors and I acquired this it's kind of a cryptic grim little story but I'll save that for when we have story time with Raven that's actually a good idea okay this right here this is wolf hair and I use this whenever I'm working with spirit, animal spirits, anything with animals, if I want to summon anything like that or do a ritual with that or with my fur baby, with my familiar, I'm going to use something that has to do with another animal. You know what I'm saying? Or anything, anything you want to use it for, anything that you do use it for. It's up to you. Okay, this right here is cast Corilla Powder. Everybody knows what that is, right? That's eggshell powder, cascarilla powder. And it's just crushed up, dried out, crushed up, powdered eggshells. And we use that for a lot of protection stuff. And right here, I get a lot of my stuff from Blends of the Bayou. It's a really good store. And they sell stuff on Amazon. They sell stuff on their own little store, you know. And this right here is what we call saltpeter. And it is used in voodoo quite a bit for certain things. But there's some people who know it for other things. And no, I don't use it for that. That's just cruel and unusual. And you don't do stuff like that to, you know, your loved ones. Anyways, this right here, black salt. You always, this is a good idea to keep on you at all times. This red brick dust, it's just for protection. It keeps like your front doors, your back doors, your windows your car, anything. You sprinkle it on yourself if you want. It is for protection and is one of the best things to use. And here we have moon water. And these right here are, is, is the stuff I keep in my box. Because it's always good to keep moon water on you to cleanse things. Like if you're in the middle of nowhere and you do come up upon something and you want to... Um, you want to cleanse it before you take it. And please, please don't take anything or don't kill anything to get what you need. You can either buy it from a store that sells it. There's plenty of shops who offer things that you're looking for. Don't intentionally do harm to something to get something for a ritual or spell because that is not going to go well for you. That is not going to go well at all. And when you do take something from nature and from mother nature from the forest anywhere leave an offering say thank you tell him tell the ancestors and the animals thank you for blessing me with this object be grateful for it right this right here is a little bottle i put together it's got black salt it's got sage take this you can burn it you can like it's like a Instead of bringing all your loose incense and stuff with you, I suggest you put it in one of these little plastic or glass bottles. 
Like if you, like I said, you're going to know what you're bringing your altar for and you're going to know where you're going. You're going to know what you're going to do. So just pack it accordingly. Like you do your suitcase. And we have right here, I love these oils and it comes from Art of the Root and they have a bunch of them on Amazon and they make them for you. They're all done correctly. They're, they work really well. They have all the little stuff in them that you need. And this one is <laughs> back off fish oil. I can't really cuss because I'll get in trouble. And this one right here is another good one. It is protection from evil oil. You can use this and do sigils on yourself and your forehead, and your arms, your stomach, anything that you want protection from evil on. You can use this one right here. It's very, very good if you don't make your own. And let's see what we got back here. We have <laughs> I'm just going to let y'all read that. It does exactly what it says for like those moments of the month for, you know, us ladies, we have, you know, we have our moments and this helps the smell that relaxes you. It's like the essential oil, everything. It's really, really good. It works really well. You put it behind your ears, on your neck, on your wrist, wherever. And we have our Florida water. And if you don't know what this is used for, you can just look it up. And you can use it for a lot of stuff, just like you use moon water for a swamp water. Use it for whatever you want to use it for. It's up to you. And it, they have the tiny bottles like this, so it's easy to carry. And like I said, if you're traveling and you're flying somewhere, I wouldn't try to bring this on a plane because it looks like one of the little bottles you put liquor in, and they're not going to let you keep this. And this right here is holy water <laughs> and it works really well this is so this is a really good place to get stuff from blends of the bayou i'm telling you i've got a bunch of their stuff and they package it really well it's very good quality once again none of them are sponsoring me i just i love getting good quality stuff and i want to tell y'all where to go get it from okay we have our hot foot powder back there i told you about and i am someone who always has feathers with me and uh, these are my raven feathers. I have three of them. And I can't really remember how I acquired these, but I want to say I got them from one of my aunts. I think so, because where they live at, they have ravens. We don't have ravens down here in the south. <laughs> we really don't. And if you see one, that's right there is a sign from the gods saying something. I'll tell you right now if you see one of those down here. Okay, and we have more candles. I should have put those over here, but I didn't. But these are the bigger candles you can get, like the spell candles. These are better used for, like, when you're doing spells and stuff at home. Like, on tonight on a full moon, you can use these to burn. They last, really, a pretty good amount of time. And I have my selenite because, you know, selenite is really good. It's good for everything. Calm, calm, calm. And I have my little altar tiles. This is soapstone, and it's got a pentacle on it. The difference between a pentacle and a, a pentacle and a pentagram, it's the circle. There's a couple other things, but, you know, it's how to identify it quickly. And it's just like altar tiles you can get that are handheld. You can use them for at home. You can put them in your travel altar, so on. And we got our resin tier you can get you can get these offline too off of amazon you can get a bundle of them for pretty cheap you get all your basic ones you can get and use y'all know y'all know the drill all righty and right here like i said again i do voodoo and i have snake skin on me quite frequently because i use that on several things i have moss and here's another coffin nail in the bag I keep them together because they work hand in hand. That's going to be a video too, like all by itself, because I'm still undecided on what next week's video is going to be about. And I think I want to keep it a surprise because I really, I don't, I'm undecided between a couple things. But one of the videos I do want to do is explaining what these things mean in voodoo, what moss is for, what coffin nails are for, graveyard dirt, all the things that aren't really too basic to a lot of people but are very basic to someone like me. And this right here is just another little box I keep my crystals and stuff in. And I would try to open it. 
hold on this is gonna be a little messed up here we go sorry about that y'all <laughs> didn't mean to make it all messed up and you just some of my crystals I keep in it I don't bring them all with me when I go somewhere like my amethyst my agate my desert stone my Dalmatian Jasper, my Quartz, stuff like that. I pick a few and I bring it with me in Pyrite, stuff like that. And I keep it in the box to like pick from whenever I'm going somewhere and I'm doing a certain thing. I'll just, I'll have a place to go and grab them from and I'll know what they are. And of course we have, like I said, whenever you're just going like to the forest or something for the day, make sure you bring you some zippy bags and a spoon because it comes in really handy you can use these instead of putting everything in jars plastic jars little glass jars you know and this right here I'm gonna show you in a minute this is one of the tiny travel altars that they do sell on Etsy that I was showing in my little reel and right here is a altar cloth it is good to have one of these and this one's got the triple moon on it and it's purple and it's not too big but it's big enough and it's very very it's very nicely made and also, if you're like me and you're like doing divination, you have your pendulum and you have, you can either make you with a marker, a small pendulum board, or you can get one that's already small and one that's big enough to fit inside the altar that you're going to be using. And I have my, my stage sticks right here. And I have a couple different ones. And these are all handmade by a friend. And this one right here is bay leaf and pine. And this one right here is white sage and lavender. And this one right here is eucalyptus and lavender. And she does an amazing job. And if y'all want to know who she is, message me and I will let you know. Because I'm not sure if she's still doing them. And my little incense thing that doesn't go on the altar. I just use it a lot because I love it. And I have my other stones back there, but they're just sitting up here because they keep me calm and help me get through my videos. And okay, well, I hope that covered a lot of it for you. Like some of those things that you can put in your altars, you know, not everything. You don't have to have everything. I just wanted to show y'all a bunch of choices, a bunch of different things. Some of the things I use and like the stuff in the bottles and stuff and my little medicine bottles that I keep. And if you're going to use these, make sure you take the tags and stuff off of them. Don't leave the labels and stuff on there. Like if you get them from other people that, you know, just make sure everything's cleaned up and done right. So we're, we all know how to do that. And the altar tiles and all the different little things that I do use. And let's see. Let's get into this bad boy right here. Let me see. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to get into it, am I? I am so sorry I'm doing this. Like I said, I'm good with this. Okay, I am so sorry about that, people. Alrighty, let me just make it cute again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is the last part of the video. And this right here is one of the small altars that I did a reel of at the beginning. Like, it's just because I show the pictures of some of the ones that they sell. Well, these are it. This is the size of them. This is some of the stuff that comes in them, stuff like that. And it's like, here's, this is a pendulum that's in there, like I said. Like, there's a small pendulum they have that comes in one. And it's a doll, because mine's based off of Voodoo. And that's how I got it made. And it gets the pins, and you got the little jars. And you got... The little jar you can put liquid in and they're very beautiful how they're made like i'm telling you they there's some really good quality made altars that all those people sell and you got your animal bones and my shells and my teeth that i use for certain things and they come with little holes in them so you can use them for decoration and he, if you can read this go for it because my eyes are not going to let me read this but it's like a miniature tarot deck and it is absolutely adorable and you got your little candle holders right here and you can set them and they send you the little candles that go in them or you can get the birthday candles also that's what they fit as birthday candles and you got your little ouija 
that comes in there. And you got your little planchettes that comes in there. And the other little candle holders. And this right here. It's like a table of contents of what comes in your stuff. They cover all the basics. They really do. They really cover everything that they send you. And it's packed very well. It's very well taken care of. And even though it looks like a little, you know, put together quick doll, it's made very well. It's going to hold up. It's going to do the job you need it to do. I have so many voodoo dolls. You know, that's actually one of my ideas is next week is to do poppets with y'all voodoo dolls. So maybe that'll be it. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Well, that is what you put in your altar. Oh, and this right here. One of the best things to have on you at all times, especially right now in the world that we live in, is hand sanitizer. You never know what you're going to get yourself into. You never know what you're going to have your hands on. So bring some of this with you. Bring you some plastic gloves, stuff like that. Just make sure you're prepared for the job that you're going out to do, you know? Just make sure you prepare yourself. Write down, you know, get you a little piece of paper or something. Write down what you're going to be doing and just plan accordingly. I love this thing. It's so well made. This actually came from the same people that I got the uh, little box altar from. And they did a really good job preserving it. And the alligator foot. I don't know exactly who that came from. But Sarah got it for me because she's just, she's awesome. I love her. It's so cool. Alrighty. I hope you all enjoyed a little travel through what my travel altar holds. Well, some of it anyways. And I hope you all enjoyed everything. And I hope everyone considers building one of their own. I really do because it is really fun and it means a lot more whenever it comes directly from you and you do rituals and stuff with it. So I will be right back with our closing. Blessed be. And here we go. Okay, my loves, it's time for me to say goodbye. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope it showed you a lot about what you can put in your altar. The possibilities are absolutely endless. Like anything that you think you need in there for yourself, anything that applies to what you do, put it in there. Make sure, you know, like the usual with everything we do, bless it you know, do your chants, you know, the usual cleansing of everything and like plan accordingly, like I said, for what you're going to do, because you're going to know what you're going to do ahead of time. And you're going to know what you do on an everyday basis. It's going to be just based off of yourself, like everything else it is about your craft that you do and have fun with it. Have a really good time making it make the box like I'm, i still have to decorate my big box like i just recently got that one and i want to decorate it and make it my own and make it really really cool and i want that to also be something that we do together too about manifestation boxes that's another idea i have and i hope this all kind of cleared a little thing like some things up like a lot of people think you have to have certain things in your altar if you go by the book and you go by what all the books say, yes, you can do that. That's, that's all you, that's, it's the person. Everyone's different. We all have our own way of doing things. I don't judge anyone for that. You believe in what you want to believe in. That's, that's absolutely 100% who you are and that's who you need to be. You can't be no more. You can't be no less. And I actually respect people more for that because they're not putting on a facade just to satisfy others but some people have to though especially when it comes to witchcraft but that's okay also because you're protecting yourself and that's what you must always do you have to protect yourself first and foremost with this and just do like do whatever you want with your altar box. You can make one for your home too. You can make one to travel with. You can make one you carry around daily. This was basically showing you what to put in an altar box to like go around with. Like you're going to visit some friends, some girlfriends for y'all are going to have just a night where you drink wine like tonight with the full moon. 
you're gonna have get-togethers the coven's gonna get together everyone's gonna be drinking around a fire dancing doing all your rituals you know all the good stuff about being a witch on a full moon and you know so on but you're bringing stuff with you right pack accordingly you know what you're gonna be doing you know what you're gonna need with you pack it bless it say your ritual over it get it all ready have fun with it there's times to be serious yes I absolutely agree there's times to be serious but there's also a lot of those times that just be yourself put your intent and your passion into it and your heart and your soul and that right there is what works the best you put yourself into what you're doing and what you're manifesting and it absolutely will blow your mind have a great afternoon have a great night have a great full moon i will see you all next week and i, I really don't know what i'm doing yet it's going to be a surprise but it's going to be really fun it always is i love you all like subscribe share with your friends please share with your friends we spread this far and wide get as many people involved in our little witchy group we got going on as possible bring everybody over the more the merrier the more suggestions the more we can all learn from one another the better that's that's what makes us fun that's what makes it amazing everyone's different everyone has their own ideas bring them on over because I want to know I want to know I want to know the different stuff that I haven't done yet and I want y'all to teach me and I want to do it here so there you go I'll see you next week have an amazing day I'll see you later